What's good YouTube, it's your boy Nick Wavy. I'm back with a new video. Now this video, I'm gonna show you what it's like living with a puppy. So I just woke up, it's eight o'clock in the morning and she didn't wake me up entirely. Like usually she's crying, scratching on the cage around this time and I go look at the cage. She went, took a poo poo and a pee pee and then I have to just start immediately cleaning it up. So let's go see what she's doing today. Roxy, and as I was going to get my camera, I realized that she peed here low key and I didn't even see it. I gotta clean that up. Look at you, Roxy, look at you, look at you. Hey, Roxy. So usually the pee pad is spread out across the back right here. And you can see that she peed on the, well now that the pee pad is not here, she peed on the mat. So what I noticed is that she hasn't pooed yet. So she's definitely gonna need to go poo. And she may want to do that in places where she's not allowed to do that. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Cage, her pee pad was all messed up. I know she was stepping all in the pee. So today what I'm gonna do is give her a bath entirely. It's been a few days since she had one. She was being a bad girl yesterday, peeing all over the place, even though I took her outside. And yeah. So as you guys can see, it's kind of hard. Well, not hard to clean the cage, but anytime I sit down, she always likes to run all over me and stuff. She thinks it's playtime. But yeah, this is early morning. I clean out her cage. I gotta get deep down in there. I'm gonna get my sanitizer wipes. Wipe down the whole cage, and you know, I'm a big guy, man, so it's kind of hard. Look at her trying to squeeze through my legs. She always trying to play, but it's cool. You know, so I clean her cage up, and then I let her play outside for a little bit, and then I reset her cage. I put her pee pad back down and her bed back down, and then she's good to go. So I'm trying to put my sock on, and she noticed that. So she said, give me your sock. Let me take it. Hey, give me the sock. Come here. And she's just a puppy, so there's no stopping her play meter. Like, she just wants to play, play, play. Whenever she sees me sit down, she wants to come and sit on top of me, as you can see. Roxy, hey. She's cute, though. And see, now this is where it gets dangerous. When I don't give her attention, she'll start sniffing and this is where she makes her damage. This is where she'll go and find trouble. So let me put my sock on, hold on. Give me a second. So honestly, I would do a better job of taking her outside, but it's so cold, like look outside right now. So honestly, the first thing in the morning, what I'm not trying to do, is go outside but she needs to do it so Roxy you going outside with me let's go oh yeah she knows she knows she's about to go outside and she's like no 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 but yeah we going we going and after that she's about to shower oh it's not too bad today uh, go pee, go poo. Go do all of that. Today's not too bad outside. I thought it'd be colder. So when she puts her head down and starts sniffing for things like this, that's when I usually know she's trying to pee or poo, especially when she does it inside the house because there's nothing new for her to smell in the house. So when she goes like this, Look, she, it looks like she wants to go. Go pee. Can't come down here yet. Can't come down. You want the snow? Uh, you wanna come on this side? So when I originally got her, I was scared that she would fall under here, but she's too thick for that. And that line there, that gap is too small. Go pee. Where are you going?
Look, she wants to go so bad. Good, good. Good girl. Jeez. Good girl. See, I knew she had to poop. No, oh, don't step in it. Don't step in it. Good girl. So every time she does this, hey, 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 come here. Good girl. Come here. Yeah. Good girl. You want a treat? Come, let me give you a treat. Let me give you a treat. Oh, come here, come here. Oh, oh, oh. You get up there. Yeah. You want to go pee? Good girl. That was easy. Look at that. Ugh. Hold on. Damn! I gotta take this out right away. I gotta take this to the garbage, yo. Stink up. One thing she loves is my shoe. Watch this. Woo, go get it. I don't know what it is, but she loves it way more than any other toy. See, she goes in here because she knows this is her home. She has no problem with the cage. She sleeps in here every night because I want to train her from young to really get used to the cage. And if I ever have to step away from the house, I can put her in the cage and she'll be comfortable. So it's only 8.30 in the morning. Usually she wakes me up at seven with the crying. But it's 8.30 today and I'll show you guys else what it's like. Uh, she secretly peed right here. I didn't even know that she did that. I don't know when she did it, but I can see it on the floor. So I get my urine destroyer and I let that sit for about, I don't know, five minutes. Uh, come here. And then I'm gonna close this door so she doesn't go running through it. Hey, what are you doing? That's a pee pad, not a toy. It's never ending. She's funny. Whenever she sees me standing near the kitchen and I take her bowl, she knows it's food time. But I've been training her to not be so reckless when it comes to her food. So I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. All right, so what I do anytime she eats is, see, she's pretty relaxed. She knows that she can't go right into the bowl. She knows she can't. She'll look at me and she'll stay seated. And anytime she tries to go, I'll stop her. And I, she only goes when I say eat. So watch this. Eat, eat, eat. And then when she starts eating, I always put my hand in the bowl because if she gets older and you try and take her food away, she might start growling, you might bite your hand. So I like to pet her when she's eating and She's nice, she's a good dog. So I let her eat a bit. I take it away. And then she knows she has to sit. Come over here, come over here. Let's show them how smart you are. Okay. So I'll put it back and she won't go. Hey, hey. Well, that time she wanted to go, but usually she doesn't go. Um, it's good now that I'm recording because I'm talking. Usually I would just, hey, hey, hey. Usually I would just say her command and she would go eat and there wouldn't be any other vocals in the background. So eat, eat, eat. And then she'll start eating. She's two and a half months. Uh, she's actually almost three months. Her birthday's coming up, I think in a week. And she's gonna be three months. So she's a good dog. Being a single father is hard, man. Like I wake up, I clean up after her. I cook her food, make sure she eats it, watch her eat it. Then I have to start cooking for myself. So being a single daddy, it's hard. So I have to give a shout out to all the single fathers, all the single mothers out there that has to take care of a kid and go to work and take care of a house. I now understand what it's like dealing with that. So props to you. Today, Roxy's being good. She peed on her mat. Okay. 
She peed on her mat. And she's happy. Wow! Wow! Uh. You want to chew something? Hey! Ah! Ah! Oh, soon you're going to be able to jump up. Roxy! Roxy! Get this. Put your mouth in this. Chew, chew. I'm going to take her outside soon. And then we're going to go for a walk. Okay. Okay, Roxy. Okay. All right, you guys, so this is gonna be the end of the video. Today was an interesting day. She actually, I took her outside twice and on my balcony, like I'm on my balcony, as you can see, and she peed and pooed twice. So she kind of got used to, or it's a new experience for her is peeing and pooing outside. So she was actually sitting right here by the door and then she was just sitting there and I was like, yo, why are you sitting there? Like, what are you doing? And I took her outside and she immediately went and peed, as you can see right there. So I'm trying to take her outside every so often to let her go pee whenever she's ready to pee. It's been a, it's a learning experience for me. I'm learning how she moves. Oh, I thought she's about to go. I'm learning how she acts and what she does. And I'm reading her signs and I'm becoming a better owner and I'm understanding her better. And as time goes along, I'm gonna have a better, we have a better relationship. It's not like we have a bad relationship, but. It's only been a week, so there's still a lot I have to learn. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys press the like button. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications. Post a comment down below. Make sure you guys follow Lil Roxy on Instagram. Roxy, what's your Instagram? Roxy underscore wavy? Okay. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.